I've sold my entire Hermes leather goods range because it across the globe by millions and now a after months of speculation controversy in Caracas continues. Hi, I'm Kerry Hopkins. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you today about why I've sold my entire Hermes leather goods range. And this is the last product that I'm posting today, which is what inspired me to do this video. Uh, as I say goodbye to my final Hermes product. And I haven't make, made any profit at all from selling the uh, leather goods with Hermes. I have actually didn't get my money back that I originally paid, so I haven't profited. Why have I sold these leather goods? Well, Hermes, you'll know that I'm a customer. If you check your, the internet, you'll see me as a customer. I've bought a lot of products from you, ranging from shoes to belts mainly shoes to belts sandals and so on but this is the product that i've just sold and it's a belt strap now when i bought it i thought this is you know nicely made look at the quality but now i look at it and i'm like ah oh, this is actually a piece of skin this is actually disgusting <laughs> Like, it's not even funny. Like, it's actually a very serious matter. This is, this, this is creepy. Like, when I've had what's known as a third eye awakening, which is where we as humans, when we have one, we see beyond what we see. Now, what do I mean by that? We look behind the Wizard of Oz curtain and we look for the truth. So just because something's put on our plate and we were told it was humanely slaughtered doesn't mean we're gonna believe it. Somebody that's had an awakening like I have. So I've seen so much footage of cows suffering as a result of humans. Now in the West, dogs are protected by law. Cats are protected by law. Dogs are treated like babies like human babies my dog I mean she is so well looked after you know she'll probably hopefully the idea is that she'll die peacefully in her sleep at an old age so yet cows they are one of the most oppressed animals in the world I mean to be born a cow you're completely screwed completely screwed it's like if you're born a pig or a chicken or a lamb or a sheep, you are completely screwed. Yet if you're born a dog or a cat or a human, oh, you're okay. You're okay then. I mean, even if you're a lion, people are campaigning against trophy hunting. To me, it's like, you know, if you think about like society, you've got, let's say the royal family up here, right? the British royal family, then maybe here, you know, or the president of the United States, and then maybe down here, you might have aristocracy, or maybe they're here and A-list Hollywood celebrities are there. But maybe down here, you've got upper class, then here you've got middle class, then here you've got working class, then here, it could be argued that you that people might look at people crossing the channel as here. Yeah, they're obviously, they obviously face prejudice. You've got dogs and cats here. But right down here, so far down, you can't even see it on the screen because I'm pointing right down here, are cows, sheep, pigs, lambs. They absolutely do not deserve to be prejudiced against. Now, I have caused immense suffering to cows by buying this leather and buying other cow products in the past and lamb skin and goat skin as well actually and because of my awakening I now see the evilness that I've caused I'm like oh god so I cannot bear to wear this Hermes anymore and that's why I'm getting rid of it and that's why I've got rid of some of your other products as well so some people might see this as aspirational this this kind of belt with a h on i personally didn't always like the h i did buy one with a h because my surname's hopkins 
So I did wear it with the H, but then I felt it was too labelly for me and I just used the Dishan buckle. But now I just see this as this animal. Like, imagine when you have an awakening, Hermes, what I look now is I think I look at all the animals that I've been responsible for killing. Well, that I've paid somebody to go kill. And I look at them in my front garden. They're all looking back at me. And then suddenly there's blood everywhere. You know, when they're looking at me, this is a mother cow, a father cow, a baby cow. You know, the baby cow's playing with its mum. And then I have paid someone to take that baby away from its mum to make it into a belt. That is evil, 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 really evil. That should be illegal, illegal. The thing is, though, we can't always think about the law. Like when we make decisions, some people might say, oh, well, it's legal, so it's OK. But that's not how I look at things. So, you know, fur was legal at one point. In fact, well, fur farms, let's say that, but that's been banned now in the UK. But you can still buy fur in the UK at the time of this video. But a lot of people think fur is terrible. So just because it's legal doesn't mean that it's morally and ethically right. You know, another thing, Anne Frank, the 15-year-old innocent Jewish girl that got murdered in Germany literally just a few weeks before World War II ended. Well, with Anne Frank, the people that murdered Anne Frank were following the law. But the people who were trying to save Anne Frank were breaking the law, okay? I knew as a little girl that the murder of Anne Frank was morally wrong. I didn't need a law to tell me that. Let's look at other laws as well. Let's look at the law of slavery. At one point, slavery was legal in some countries. You now we all think it's disgusting and abhorrent. Well, I tell you, people back then would have, a lot of people would have thought back then it was disgusting and abhorrent. And, but it was legal. So my point is, yeah, okay, you're allowed at the moment to kill cows to make it into leather goods, but it doesn't mean that it's any, there's anything good about that. There definitely is not. It is wrong. And I think in the future, killing animals to wear their skin will be illegal. But for now, it's up to the customers to decide with their wallets what they're going to pay for. And don't think just because it's legal or not, that means it's OK, guys, because I've just given you some examples there that show it's not right. Even some countries have sex with children and think that's OK, whereas in the in the West, we think it's beyond disgusting well it is disgusting that's what i'm saying like you can't always go by what the law says i'm now going to spend the rest of my life making up for the bad that i've done in the past as somebody who was brainwashed like everybody else i'm no different nothing can make up for it though really nothing can make up for it like if I'd killed a baby, a human baby, I'd be in prison for years, rightfully. Why is it okay for me to pay somebody to go kill a cow and wear it as a belt? Because that's somebody else's baby that I've taken away from them, you know? So that, so should I spend the rest of my life in prison for it? Well, we're, the whole world's going to be in prison, aren't they? This is somebody's mom or dad or baby or brother or sister like do you see what I mean there's just no need nowadays to do this no need but but the good thing about Hermes guys the good thing from my research Hermes are 
groundbreaking in this, not including Stella McCartney, who was in on this donkey's years ago, 20 years ago, right? She's a forefront leader in ethical fashion when it, because she's never used animals to make leather. But I've contacted a lot of the high fashion, especially French brands, you know, the luxury brands and, and Italian ones. And a lot of them have told me they're not making any vegan leather. And I'm just like, what the hell? Italian style. What the hell, man? I don't know what accent that was. It is astounding me because the customers want it. I'm a customer. I want vegan leather. Now, you're losing customers because you're not doing vegan leather. You might think, okay, well, I'll just get customers from other countries. Sure. But you know what? The thing is with the internet, there's no editor. There's no editor deciding what we should and shouldn't be listening to. Okay. So that means the public can put out whatever they want and it will travel around the world at the speed of light. So eventually, as a whole, as a collective, we'll also start to maybe realize, oh, actually, yeah, this is, this is wrong, killing a cow. Like, this, this isn't right. And it's not just the killing of the cow, it's their entire life as well is horrific and also when they go to their death they put chili in their eyes to get them up off the floor they don't feed them food and water and they break their tails because it gets the cow walking again and then they get to the room of death and get murdered they want to live a life playing with their family and that's what God's created. That's what the universe has created. Whoever created this universe, that's what they want. They don't want humans killing cows to make into belts, whoever created this place. No other species does that. You don't get lions killing humans to make them into belts or shoes. Only humans are doing this. And it's seen as something really nice because look, it's in a nice box with tissue paper. You know, oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? No, no, it's not. It doesn't matter how you package it up. But I know, you know, you're selling to people like the old me, but the old people, the people like me or people like me are now waking up to the truth, guys. They're waking up to the truth. And because of the internet, this is getting, the truth is being circulated like wildfire. But let me get back to what I think is good about Hermes at the moment. So I'll share my screen with you and show you this email from Hermes that I've got, which I can confirm. Hermes are developing a new sustainable mushroom derived leather. And it's made from mushrooms, mushroom roots, and it's called fine mycelium materials. So it's eco-friendly. The main thing is it's animal friendly. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like. This, uh, you see that? I mean, that just looks like normal leather, normal animal leather. And do you know why? Do you know why? Because I've been thinking about this. Cows eat plants. So, of course, they're going to be like plant leather, aren't they? It's going to be the same kind of thing. So, if what I mean is, if, it, if a cow was made of a steel rod, and they ate steel, you're not going to be able to make kind of 
leather from that. Because cows eat plants, should, it makes sense that you can make leather out of plants because it's going to be the same composition, isn't it? I'll tell you this as well. Don't be want to be like lions, guys. The strongest animals in the world are plant eaters. The strongest animals in the world. Be as strong as an ox. What does an ox eat? Plants. Elephants, the most feared animal, land animal. Lions fear elephants. What do elephants eat? Plants. You don't need meat to get your protein, guys. Sunflower seeds, I think they have 33 grams of protein per 100 grams. Anyway, I digress. I digress. Now, if you like what I'm saying, please like this video. I've just sort of started this YouTube channel, so it really helps with the algorithm and more people to listen to what I'm saying and we can spread um, peace towards cows and other animals where they're used to be skinned to make into bags. And please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notifications. Uh, also, that's going to help too. Now, for those of you watching this video who don't have the budget for Hermes products, don't worry. I am going to be also talking on other videos about high street products and products that do not cost as much money as Hermes. So keep watching. However, the ethos is very much the same. It's about not using any animals to make belts, shoes, or bags, or pain cases, or anything. Um, A4 folders, anything, anything. Like, we just do not need to use patches of skin and murder someone to do that. You've got some fantastic leather alternatives now. So the other good thing about Hermes is they are fur free. So they've gone fur free, which is fantastic. They're making vegan leather. Fantastic. They, from what I've seen though, I've only seen one bag that is vegan leather, this bag here that Hermes have made. And I think it's a beautiful bag, but for some people it's not going to be obviously the kind of bag they want. They might want a different style. They might want a crossbody bag. They might want, you know, a small handbag. So I don't want Hermes to put their eggs in one basket and be like, okay, this bag did sell, let's make more. Or this bag didn't sell, let's not bother doing vegan leather anymore. Me as a customer, I would like you to make all your entire range from vegan leather. Like Stella McCartney's done it and her vegan leather is amazing. You can now get, yeah, you know, you can get, you're making a bag out of mushrooms. You know that you can get bags made out of pineapples, apples, even plastics more sustainable than using animals. You use a lot less water. You don't need to use all the plastic for the animal feed. It just, it, the fact that even somebody would say, oh, well, it's bad for the environment if we use plastic it was like well okay well i tell you what let's make you out of a bag then shall we let's make a belt out of you that's what we need to start thinking never mind about what about plastic like of course it's going to be more environmentally damaging to be using animals than plastic because the tannery process as well is a horrific the tannery process it's got so many carcinogens in it that's why a lot of the workers in india in the tanneries have got cancer or they've got like mutilated hands because they're dealing with these um chemicals where people live near the tanneries the water just highly polluted but all the feed that you give the animals will be in plastic you know the transport of the feed the cutting down forest to 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 feed the animals if you're killing 85 billion animals a year for food and leather or versus like they need crops because all the animals we eat are generally herbivores so they need crops so that's why the amazon's getting cut down as well 
well, why not just grow crops for 8 billion humans instead, rather than 80, 85 billion animals and 8 billion humans? It doesn't make any sense. But still, if somebody says, oh, well, it's env not environmentally friendly, firstly, that's wrong because it takes like 15 years worth of drinking water to make one pair of shoes. It's about 17,000 liters of water to make one pair of shoes where it's only like 10 liters to make a vegan bag. Oh, God, it's just ridiculous. But like I say, it, it shouldn't even matter that because the amount of plastic we use anyway, just because I, before I've got my Levens's coffee, I've consumed loads of plastic, as in not digested it, but what about when I've washed myself in the shower? Plastic, wash my hair, plastic bottle, uh, got a new pair of socks out, plastic packaging, got, got my breakfast and my milk, plastic carton, got my cereals, plastic wrapping, um, had some toast, plastic wrapping. Yeah, had an apple for breakfast, plastic wrapping, which really annoys me, supermarkets, that you do that. We, they never used to do that in the old days. We just don't need to do that. And then people fuss about one belt that, that could be made of plastic vegan leather. It, it is a, we don't buy loads of belts. It's like a small fry compared to the amount of plastic we consume anyway. However, in Hermes case, this is probably biodegradable, this um, mycelia, or it's certainly not got plastic in it, so it's environmentally friendly anyway. Well, I'm just kind of giving you the other side of the story. For the vegan leathers, they're still more environmentally friendly than killing cows, and they're certainly more animal friendly. I've noticed, Hermes, that you've launched an alligator slash crocodile farm in Australia. What I don't want you to do is to move from killing loads of cows to then killing loads of alligators and crocodiles. That's not right either. I think you should just really focus now on more products with vegan leather, ideally sustainable ones, if you can, like mycelium, Penetex, or other products made from plants, and even introduce vegan leather that's made not from plants, but just make way, way, way more of your products in that, in vegan leather, and eventually just get rid of all animal products in your range because justice for cows really and i think a lot of the things in the world are recycled so what i mean by that is the water comes up but it comes back down it's not like we get a load of new water from elsewhere in the universe when you know it evaporates up in the hot weather it comes back down in rain if we even through our bodies that come the urine, it comes, it ends up in rain again, it ends up as rain again, right? So I think it's possible that might happen with souls as well and reincarnation. So I think people that oppress cows might come back as a cow. <laughs> like I'm hoping I'm not going to come back as a cow because I've seen the light and I think this could be the meaning of life. Um, but you know, who knows? Maybe that is my dues that I've got to pay, but I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to make up for it. And I, I give, you know, I give thousands to animal rescue charities or educational charities to educate people not to buy animal leather now. And I also spend my time doing videos like this. So I, you know, hopefully I'm not going to get reincarnated and then suffer that sort of death and that oppressed life, but you don't know. But plus the environment is in a mess at the moment. 
it's getting worse and worse and worse. And animal agriculture, using animals to make fashion. Animals are not a fabric. And skin is not a fabric. Come on, guys. There's more to life than making money from animals. And there's, the planet cannot take it. Animal agriculture is the number one climate change, the reason for climate change. Animal agriculture is the number one reason for climate change. Okay, in some places it says number two. Number two is transport and energy. Well, that's still linked to number one because of all the food that needs transporting for 80 billion animals a year. Like we're 8 billion humans, but we're here like year in, year out. This is 80 billion animals a year. So in 10 years, that's like, I don't even know what 80 billion times 10 is. What is it? 8 trillion. I don't even know what it is. That's insane. Whereas we're probably only going to be just over 8 billion humans in 10 years or like 10 billion. I don't know what it was 10 years ago, what the number was, but it doesn't change much because we're not all killing each other at the level that animals are getting killed, right? <sighs> Breathe. We just, we can't be conned like this, people. Conned by a mission, by a mission, you know, getting things like this in a nice box. It's... There's so much suffering has gone on inside this box. You're paying for suffering. Hermes, your brand is like right up there. It's not going to spoil your brand doing vegan leather. I mean, all the next generation want vegan leather anyway, and even like the older people as well. So it's definitely not going to spoil your brand at all. Definitely not. You're, you've spent years building up your brand and you might even find you get more customers because then I'll buy, I, I might buy from you again because I'm not going to buy from you at the moment. Um, that bag that you have got isn't really my style of what I'm looking for at the moment in mycelium. I'm looking for more of a bag that will be crossbody but also fit a pair of shoes, a, a water bottle, and an umbrella, and then my wallet. Um, that just doesn't fit in that category. Plus, I want it to be black as well, probably, or tan. Yeah, but I know other people that are not buying from you anymore either because you've not done vegan leather. So I don't think you've got anything to fear. You've got nothing to fear. You've shown how compassionate you are with the going for free and you don't want the bad PR. You know, you're making the vegan leather. You're going in the right direction apart from the alligators and crocodiles. So your brand, I am sure, will thrive using vegan leather. And one day I think animal leather is going to be illegal anyway. Wouldn't it be nice to get people saying wonderful things about Hermes, like literally everybody? And if you want to be more inclusive and have all the fashionistas talking about Hermes and all those other people, all those new vegans, all those vegetarians, all those people that are worried about the climate and quite rightly worried about the climate, you're going to have all them saying great things about you as well. So your PR is going to go really, you know, it's going to, it's going to increase, your reputation could increase more. You'll also attract back all those people that have left because they don't want to buy they don't want to feed into the system of oppression, slavery, and murder, e.g. like me, and I know other people like me as well. So Hermes, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by making your entire leather goods range out of vegan leather. I'll be watching closely. So for now, at least, guys, Hermes are mm, trying and going in the right direction and long may that continue and long may that expand and grow and be bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's what I've got to say today on Hermes. And that's why I've sold this belt. I've made a loss on it. So I haven't profited from suffering of animals at all. And 
I've also given thousands of pounds to charity, uh, animal charities in reaction to realizing what I've done in the past to try and make up for what I've done. Nothing will ever make up for what I've done in the past. Nothing will make up for it. But if I can make some small actions every day, that can make the lives of cows, pigs, lambs, and sheep um, better, then that's what matters to me. So, like I said, if you like, if you've, you know, you've learned something in this video, this is kind of your thing, then please subscribe to my channel. It completely helps. I've spent my life getting people in front of tens of millions of people or billions of people or going on TV myself in front of millions of people. But I've just started to grow this YouTube channel. So all the support I can get is greatly appreciated. Um, so yeah, please subscribe if you can, if you like it rather, not whether you can, it's not too difficult to click and let people know about it. I'm gonna be posting videos every week. I'll decide soon what day I'm gonna be posting on and I'll let you know. But what are your thoughts in the comments? Do you still wear leather? Do you think Hermes should have their entire range um, as vegan leather? Like, why not? That's going to happen one day anyway, isn't it? It's going to happen one day. So why not be a thought leader and do it now? But what do you think, guys? Uh, please talk to me in the comments. I want to hear from my subscribers. It's interesting because on social media, the call you followers, like you press the follow button and you're a follower. In the old days, people were just fans, weren't they? They were just fans. Well, I'm a fan of people that buy vegan leather and I'm a fan of brands that buy vegan leather and I'm a fan of brands that realize what they've been doing is morally and ethically wrong and they want to change. I'm a fan of those brands. So, um, yeah, anyway, I will see you in the next video. I hope have a great day.